Hi guys, this is Andrew with rockclass101.com and in this video we're talking about our January 2020 site member challenge. So first off I want to say Happy New Year to everyone. Hope you all had an awesome holiday. Uh, if you haven't noticed we haven't put out any videos for the last couple weeks because our team has taken them off just to enjoy the holidays with our friends and families but we're pumped to be back in the game. Our first lesson comes out this Friday so keep an eye out for it and it's not just a singular lesson it's an entire course so we're releasing our brand new course which teaches you three ways to perform harmonics so keep an eye out for that this Friday. Now let's go ahead and jump into talking about the January challenge and the theme is going to be originals. So I've cherry-picked a few of my favorite tunes that we put out from last year and let's just go ahead and jump right into it. So first off, this is a song that Katie wrote, which is called Grace's Lullaby. So as the name suggests, it's a lullaby she wrote for her daughter, and it's a great one for the seasoned beginner. So it's going to help you with breaking away from playing only in the beginning of the neck. So you're gonna utilize the entire span of the neck. Now your second choice is going to be piano and ukulele duet. So this is one that AJ wrote, and Again, as the name suggests, it's a duet with the piano. Now, you're going to be playing the melody, so it's a single note melody, which may sound easy, but the challenging aspect is that that melody uses a lot of syncopation, so it's playing off the beat. So if you do choose this one, you do have to play it alongside the piano, okay? Now the third choice is going to be finger picking etude number 19. So this is a bit of a step up. So I'd say that's a good intermediate level. This one is going to be kind of the upper tier of the intermediate budding on advanced. This etude is going to help you with two areas. One, it's going to help you with playing bar chords and it's got multiple bar chord shapes. So it's not just this the standard stock first bar chords you learn. The second thing it's gonna help you with is increasing the reach of your left hand. And it's kind of in an interesting way. Oftentimes when we think about increasing reach in our left hand, we think about increasing the pinky reach to play stretch chords like that, or maybe to play stretch phrases and licks like that. But this etude's gonna help you with increasing the index finger. So sometimes you'll find that you have to have a gap with the index to, let's say, the ring finger, like in this chord example. So it's really unique uh, things that it's helping you with. But above that, and I know I'm biased, I think this was the coolest one that I wrote last year. So do check it out, even if bar chords kind of are like, ah, I avoid bar chords, check it out. It's a really, really cool sounding piece. Now, last but not least is going to be Spanish Nights. And this is a tune that I wrote with Evan so it starts out really, really soft, it's this beautiful soft melody, and then it explodes into this Latin feel. So if you've been looking for a tune to work on dynamics, so building your dynamic range, this is it, but it is advanced level, so it's a toughie. So we pretty much went in order, season beginner, to intermediate, to upper intermediate, to advanced. Now, this month has the option to play the bonus round, so let's get rid of these four choices because the fifth choice is going to be to write your own composition. So it can either be an instrumental or it can be uh, a, a strumming and finger picking tune with vocal on top, either one works for me, but it has to encompass the three parts of music. So it has to have melody, has to have harmony, and it has to have rhythm. So for example, if you submit a song where you're just strumming a chord progression and that's it, that doesn't count because that lacks melody. So guys, you have five choices for this month. So you're gonna pick one of the five choices and you're going to record yourself either in audio or video format. It can be as easy as putting your iPhone in front of you and hitting record. So you have the entire month of January to submit your performance on this form post. So as long as you do that and you play the entire arrangement, you'll be qualified for our giveaway prize. And our giveaway prize this month is going to be different because we're giving away two Skype lessons. So I'm going to teach one of the Skype lessons and Steven's going to teach the other Skype lesson. They're both going to be an hour long in length. And as always, we're going to pick the winner by random drawing. All right, so let's go ahead and jump into a couple FAQs. So I'm gonna hand it off to myself from the past and then I'll see you at the end of this video.
So number one, I don't live in the US. Can I still participate and have a chance to win the Skype lesson? Absolutely. So the challenge is open to the entire world. Question number two, do I have to have premium membership to participate? Absolutely not. Although premium membership will gain you access to the assets. So you'll get access to the complete video lessons, the tabs and the on-screen tab viewer. Now this is a really cool feature where you can hit play, watch the tab scroll across in real time. You can highlight bars to loop sections, slow it down to any speed. It just makes learning these songs so much easier. Question three, do I have to play the entire arrangement? Yes, you must perform the entire piece in order to qualify for our giveaway ukulele. Question four, do I need to be a premium member to participate? No, you do not have to be a premium member to participate, but premium membership does make it much easier to participate because it's gonna gain you access to the entire lessons, the part one and the part two. The only lesson I believe that is taught in its entirety for free on YouTube is Grace's Lullaby. So guys, what's fun about these challenges isn't the giveaway, it's the fact that you're setting a goal to learn a song by this time frame, to put in all the work, to practice it, to get it down, to play from start to finish, and to share your performance with our community. You know, the satisfaction that comes along the way with that journey is that you're going to be getting better. You're going to be improving as a player and you're not in it alone. Over 1400 members have participated in our challenges. All right guys, so this month's challenge is gonna be a lot of fun. Originals is a cool concept and it's very humbling for us. I remember as a teenager when I was sitting in my uh, childhood bedroom playing Van Halen songs on my guitar, I used to think like, does Eddie ever stop to think about how many people learn his songs and what does he think about that? And in the past we've done originals as a theme before and it's absolutely mind blowing for me to come full circle and it's super duper humbling to see you guys perform my originals and our team's originals and yeah, I just, I, I never thought that would happen to be completely honest. So it's just, it, it really, really means a lot. I just want you to know that. But uh, let's go ahead and wrap up. And I want to say, let's crush this challenge. And I'm really looking forward to seeing everyone's performances throughout the month.